Hi everybody from TechCronos and welcome to this dedicated focus on the performance of the Samsung Galaxy S Duos. Well, when we start Quadrant Advance, which is the first benchmark of the set, let me just remind you of the, the hardware specs of this device. We have a CPU which is Qualcomm MSM7227A, which is maybe the last CPU of the Snapdragon S1 family. This is, uh, you know, it has a production service of 45 nanometers and it was introduced on the market on the Q4 of 2011. This is a Cortex A5 architecture CPU clocked at 1 GHz. Then we have a GPU which is an Adreno 200 and we have 768 MB of RAM. So maybe some of you uh, do remember the uh, old Nexus One or, or the HTC Desire and they have more or less the same hardware specs but the RAM which was a little bit less it was 512 megabyte of RAM so we can say that the hardware specs of this device are you know um, reminiscent of the ancient time let's say well the quadrant advance uh, is uh, you know going to the end so let's see the performance probably the uh, more RAM that we have here we have a 768 to remind you maybe would have a little bit I mean ICS 404 we have here ICS 404 should have to in the performance and in fact if we give a look to the result we have a score of 2347 which is more than we can obtain with the HTC Desire HD and with the Samsung Nexus S. Sorry. Here we go. So, you see the score is 2347. It's more than the Desire HD and the Samsung Nexus S. So, after the current advance, let's perform the Antutu benchmark. I already done it once, so let's do it again. So, let's see the score we have 3888 so just to give you a quick comparison the latest top-notch hardware specs devices nowadays have a score of more or less 20,000 so um, I mean this is uh, quite uh, you know a low-end device and with uh, the hardware specs are low you know but you get what you pay for of course anyway it's quite an enjoyable device I mean it's the best things of this device is for sure the dual sim functionalities but I will talk to you about these functionalities in the dedicated review but just to give you another small piece of information regarding the dual sim functionality let me unset these settings which means receive call while there's a data connection working so I mean with the second sim so let's start now this speed test net let me choose the nearest uh, server which is the H3G and let's start the test why did I unset that settings? Well, when you choose that settings, which I do remind you, uh, let us receive call on the second scene while we have a data connection on the first one. 
it tells us that the data speed would be really really slow down by did settings and I want to show you the difference with these settings unset and with the settings set so this is what we obtain with the settings unset I do remind you that this device has a HSDPA speed of 7.2 megabit per second I mean maximum speed and it has an upload maximum speed of uh, 5.76 megabit per second well in you know here I have more or less with the tests I performed in this week I had more or less from 4 to 5 megabit per second in download speed and from 0 0.5 to 1 megabit per second in upload speed let's just repeat the test just to be sure and then I'm going to show you what we obtain with the settings set the previous settings so as you see now we have 5 megabit per second in download speed and we should get maybe 0 0.5 no tonight it's nothing more than 0 0.3 but now let's change the settings I told you before let's close these onto the one quadrant advanced let's go inside the dual scene management settings and let's set this one uh, the translation here is that we could have slowed down in data speed transmission and of course as I will show you in a few seconds we do have slow down speed so let's start the test the speed now would be more or less 10 times slower as you can see we we won't pass the 0 0.5 megabit in download speed while we have before 5 megabit Per second in download speed and you will see that we have more or less 0 0.05 megabit per second in upload speed what we have more or less 0 0.5 megabit per second in upload speed before so this is quite embarrassing 0 0.04 so do mind these settings I mean the one uh, letting you receive call on the second scene while we have data connection working. So for what concerns the performance benchmark of these Galaxy S duos, that's all. Once more, thanks for watching and bye from Technost.